On April 21st, out of the blue, I get a call from my birth mom that I haven't talked to since I was four years old. This is the story on how that came to be. I was born in Bogota, Colombia on July 13th, 1996. I lived with my mom, my dad, and my sister. We lived in the outskirts of the city, but in not so good surrounding area. But occasionally we would visit other family members. My sister was 11 years older than me and she was the one that pretty much took care of me. When I was five years old, a traumatic event happened. I was removed from the home, put into an orphanage because it was determined that there was no other safe place for me. My sister, Stephanie, was the only one that came to visit me. The orphanage gave my sister 30 days to see me and when those 30 days ran out, my sister didn't know that she would ever see me again. That's when we were separated. At first, I hated the orphanage. I remember trying to sneak at night through windows, through gates, but eventually I fell in love with it. I had friends, I had people that took care of me, and it was a place for me to be a kid. I was one of the older kids and it was hard to get adopted if you're older. I saw my friends being adopted, so I thought this was gonna be my life until I was gonna be 18. But that soon changed when at seven years old, I was adopted by the Almies, a couple from Manway, Ohio. When I came to the United States, it was such a culture shock. It was different than anything that I've ever known. But life went on. I had time to forgive and forget about the past, but I never forgot about my sister. I would always ask my parents, where's my sister? I wanna see my sister. My parents didn't know where to start, honestly. So imagine being in their shoes. When I was 15, my parents hired a private investigator, Gustavo. Out of the blue, we get a call from Gustavo saying that he found my sister on Facebook. Gustavo gave me her contact and we started FaceTiming. Then flew to Colombia to see Stephanie and to go to the 70th anniversary of my orphanage. When I got off the plane and picked up my luggage, I saw my sister through a big crowd of people. I ran after and we met in the middle and we hugged and it just felt like a movie. I was really happy to be back. I got to visit some of the places that I remember as a kid. I got to reunite with family I never knew I had. And I was reminded how proud I was to be a Colombian. I got to spend a lot of time with my sister. Eventually, I didn't know how to bring it up, but I asked her about our birth mom. They didn't know how to tell her this, but I wanted to reunite with her despite of whatever happened in the past. I asked my sister Stephanie what she was like back then and what she's like now. I don't remember who I got the pictures from. I got an unexpected amount of pictures of my birth mom. I got to see what she looked like and who she hung out with. Even an image of my birth mom holding my sister when she was a little baby. A year later, my sister went to see my birth mom. And this is what she told me. Mi mamá al saber que tú estabas bien, se puso muy feliz. Ella me preguntó en dónde estabas tú, cómo estabas tú. Y cuando yo le dije que estabas bien, en otro lugar del mundo, con otra familia, estuvo más tranquila. Porque por muchos años, ella no sabía nada. Stephanie told me that my mom moved from the bad part of town and is now living in a fixed up home that belonged to my grandfather. Fast forward to seven years, it's 2019. Then, out of the blue, I get a call from my cousin, Andrea. She tells me that she's with my birth mom and she wants to talk to me. I said yes because I thought this would be my only opportunity to talk to her. 
it was good to see her and hear her voice and to know that she was okay. Then after that call, my birth mom sends me this video. Andres, estoy acá, acá donde es Sandra. Eh, ya hemos almorzado y estoy muy bien de que estés bien. Eh, estoy feliz que esté Andrea acá y la familia. Eh, voy a tratar de cada día estar mejor, de luchar por estar bien. Así. Te mando un beso bien, bien grande y que te cuides. Te espero en junio para tenerte un, unas buenas noticias. Listo. I asked Stephanie how she felt when my mom called me. And this is what she said. Y ahora que yo sé que ella llamó y ustedes dos hablaron, pienso que este es un proceso muy bonito. Pienso que este es un proceso que nos va a servir para perdonar, para sanar muchas heridas, para que entendamos por qué pasó todo esto, cuál es el propósito de todo esto. Yo espero que con el paso del tiempo podamos estar juntos, podamos estar en familia, con mucho amor, porque te amamos mucho.